Hey everyone, we are back with the eBay weekend sales for our little family business here. Kind of a slower weekend for us, at least sales-wise, uh, quantity. How many sales did we have, Linda? 26. 26 sales. So usually, my goal is like 45, so we missed it by that much. And by that much, I mean quite a bit, but what was the dollar amount? Uh, almost $1,230. So that's pretty good uh, for that many sales. We're really happy with that. A couple of bigger items going out and just a lot of items that were a little bit higher dollar. Not all huge, but a lot of like 40 plusers that added up. So not a lot of small, which is okay. But we would like to see 45 things goes out so we can make more room in here to put more stuff, which is the whole name of this business, right? No. It's to make money, right? Yeah. Stress looking at all this junk everywhere. Doesn't stress me out at all. It's exciting. So I bought some more stuff this weekend too. I even bought some old whitey tidy underwear. They weren't old, but vintage. Yeah, vintage. We're pretty sure they're unused though. So that's the good part. Anywho, <laughs> they are unused. We got them at a thrift store. You, they sell pretty well if you find them. So keep an eye out. First thing that sold today. Oh, did we just, we have a message. Not good. Uh, the first thing we sold is an Xbox 360. Uh, Linda's holding it up. It is the Slim console, sold for $100. We've been selling these ones like crazy. This is our fourth or fifth one in the past two months. 100 bucks with a controller, um, no games, just a cord. So 100 bucks ship, really great. This system, if you find it, is one of the better ones to sell for the 360, it sells well. What do we have next, Linda? Next thing we have is a book. It's the Acoustic Guitar Repair Detective. It's a good old fashion, fashion mystery here about yeah. guitars, very suspenseful. Uh, this one sold for 10 shipped. This so. is from the 350 buy, but we'll take 10 bucks on that, especially on a slower weekend. And one of Cameron's favorite things. Favorite deodorants, never used it. Don't know if it even works well, but it sure sells well. The Al Alba Botanica Clear Deodorant Aloe Unscented. I have a bunch, but I usually leave my quantity set to a certain amount, so it doesn't look like I have a ton. Someone bought it when we had, uh, they bought the last four that we had listed and they sold it for. 88 shit. And then I upped the quantity to five or six again. So we have more. I'm probably going to try this week to go back, if I can, to that um, store and pick up some more of this stuff because it keeps selling. And then another media. This is 7,488 guitar chords. So that's quite a lot of guitar chords. It's also super exciting to read about. Yeah. And this one sold for 18 shipped. And um, the... The binding is kind of cracked, but I mean, and they repaired it with their own. Um, with great bindings, also can use zip for ties. zip ties, <laughs> used for many different tools <laughs> and to solve many problems. Yeah. So it's not uh, duct tape, it's a zip tie. Here's a yearbook. We got a bunch. This is Patrick Henry High School, 2017. Yes. I got a bunch of yearbooks from, I said it before, I think someone was a yearbook distributor or something, and they my source bought a storage unit that had all these yearbooks in it from 2000. 16 and up in multiple quantities of each one. Um, I bought them all for like 30 bucks and that one sold for 40. So pretty good. And then this is a print head. I believe this is off the one you, yeah. so this is off that printer that Cameron got that he's parting out. So the print head itself sold for $80 shipped and it's in a bag because when your print head is used, it's got that leftover ink on it. So I let it drain. I watched Osborne yet. the Thrift and he said put it on some paper towels, which I did, and it leaked a bunch of it out. And then you just want to still be careful. You don't want to get it on everything else. Yeah, so, but hopefully it'll not be an issue. This is my first time selling them. I tested it, it seemed like it was fully functional, uh, but I'm not an expert on this. I haven't really messed with the market, so I will provide some feedback if there's any issues. And then our first figure is um, Thunder Punch. Or is that classic? Is that the title of the thing? It's He-Man. It's 19... the Thunder Punch edition. The Thunder Punch edition. There you go. Uh, he has a backpack. It doesn't really close so well, but uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to like pop in there. But I think he's, he's missing he's kinda, some other he's accessories. He's kind of weird because so... like if you twist him, his head twists. Yeah. <laughs> so... He's from a buy we had from storage unit guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he actually sold for 19 ship though. So. Yep. So we sold one of the He-Man figures we got, and it was a newer one, and it sold for 200. So that was really cool. Uh, Broadway Musicals, A Jewish Legacy. I don't even know where I got this from, but this little, uh, it's PBS, is that what it is? It's as seen on PBS, but this DVD sold for? Uh, almost 12 shipped. We'll take it, 12 bucks shipped for a DVD, pretty cool. Oh, Ray Mysterio. Uh, he was the yeah. man, man, jumping off Ray the road Mysterio. back in the day. If my brother was watching, he knows what's up. Ray Mysterio was his favorite. <laughs> One uh, of his favorites, at least. Uh, he showed, sold for 13 ships. He's so. from the big WWE. We've sold a lot of figures, but we still have a ton of figures left. So I was thinking that some of them would go quicker, but 
Maybe I listed them a little high. And another media, the Super Guitar Songbook. We've sold three books about guitars. Yeah, it's very important, apparently. Um, Keep an eye out, guys. Yeah, and this one sold for 15 shipped. So Also from the 350 buy. It's very, that one's a super good condition, though. Most of them were pretty good in that in that lot. Uh, is it the? Yep. Linda can't make Cameron's fun of me. Favorite pants. Right because here, we guys. keep selling Here's them, guys. One. Forty thirty-two. This is our third pair, so three out of sixteen have sold. Over twenty-five ships. Twenty-five ships. So I'm thinking we're gonna get rid of all of them in the next couple months, and Linda is gonna owe me dinner because she doubted me. Um, we'll see. And by and owe me dinner, I mean we'll, I'll just pay for it. This is a huge buy right here. So this is a two set of um, Martin Guitars history books. And a reference. Oh, and a reference book, sorry. Mm -hmm. So these ones actually sold for 235 shipped. The reference one I think is the va more valuable of the two. There's not many listed. Uh, the last set had sold for 180 bucks, and I think one of them had a signature on it, but there were none listed when I put mine up. So I listed them for 300 just trying to feel out some offers. I had a couple of offers of 120, 130. Someone came through, I think they're Canadian, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what, it was global shipping, but I think I saw the address from Canada. So they spent 235, and then on top of that, the shipping for global shipping program. So great buy, and of course, it wouldn't be a surprise there from the $350 buy. So we've made a lot of money off those books. Shout out to my source who sold them to me, and I kind of bought them blind. He showed me two boxes, there are a lot of music stuff and other random stuff, and he goes, I got, a whole car full of this if you want it but he needed the cash right away for something so i gave him the cash on the spot took my two boxes and then he brought all over all the other stuff and he's a good trustworthy guy so it all worked out and then we've got another guitar one rock hardware that was from the same buy too so this one sold for I almost think. 12 shares. no that one was not that's an old that's from the rock and roll buy rock and roll another good buy from the same source he's pretty uh beneficial to us so shout out to him and then we've got a cute crossbody purse by also o from him <laughs> Oriton? Oriton or something. Oriton? It's like Australian. Yeah, so it's an Australian. Brand. I never heard of it. He gave it to me. He goes, hey, this is Australian. I'm like, oh, I'll look it up. And I saw him yep. like, oh, some of them sell. So, and actually over almost 67 ships. So Pretty good for a little purse. Little we've, purse. We've sold a couple of purses now. We've made some money, even though I don't usually, like I said, use purses. And I'm not really sure what I'm looking for or what they're called. But it works out. Here is Call of Duty Modern Warfare for PS4. This was in a... I think it was a dollar or something at a garage sale just sitting on a stack of DVDs. I'm like, I don't even know if it's worth anything, but I'll grab it for a buck. And it's sold for 25 ship disc only. So really good game if you find it for the PS4. Uh, then we got some old beats. They're kind of beat up, but these ones sold for 25 shipped. So these they don't work as is or repair. So. Yeah, I, they were. I I replaced these actually. The little you can buy the little muff thing, ear muffs, not yeah. muff things. Uh, but, I don't know. Anything. But uh, I replaced those, and I thought I had it working, but it has an issue. So someone bought it for repair. I am wearing a hat for two reasons. One, because I'm super been it's been hot and my hair is all messed up because it's been sweaty, and because Linda loves when I wear hats backwards. So. She does. Yeah. So if anyone's For asked, our lady viewers, I think you know what I'm talking about. So when she first saw me on Plenty of Fish, I was he did have a hat that, on back because it was me going to play softball. That was yeah. his picture, was him in his little softball get up. So that kind of I was like, won her mm, over. He's kind of cute. Wasn't my my <laughs> that was back then when my good looks worked. <laughs> now it's my charm that gets her. Yeah, I hadn't read the profile yet, so you know. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> What's next? Next we have another piece off of that Margaritaville. Shout out to Parting Out Kitchen Items. That's been our theme the past probably couple weeks. We've yeah. sold so many different parts. We sold the lid for it. No, not this part. We oh, haven't sold any. This, this is a brand new one. Oh, this is something new machine, different. guys. But I just mean a lot of stuff machine. we've been parting out. Yeah, we sold the lid for the other margarita one. You're right. And we sold the little uh, the nozzle. Nozzle. We sold the one for like 30 and one for 20. So. Okay, well, this is off a different one. This is margarita. And I'll, I actually have it right here. <laughs> this is the, and I'm not done taking it apart, but it's yeah, this. So this is the ice reservoir, right? It sits on the top. Yep. This thing is just kind of real dirty. It's been in someone's garage or outside. It's got like. <laughs> dirt and dust everywhere and i decided to part decided it out to take buy their own margaritas instead See, of like i'm not gonna make these but it's 15 <laughs> bucks and this sold for 49 shipped 49 shipped for just one part and we have one more to show you which is even better so stay tuned yeah and then we got a raiders <laughs> jersey charles woodson charles woodson yeah so just uh Funny thing about this, what did it sell for? Uh, $30. That's the best offer. It was listed at $40. It's been up for a long time. You can tell by the photo. This was all the way down to like $24 on sale, 30% off or whatever it was. I sent an offer out for like $22 or something, $21, and no one jumped on it. My sale ended and I haven't restarted it yet, and it was full price and sold it for $30. So you, you never know. 
Some things just work out. Super blessed. We got a burner phone right here, guys. Yep. Net 10, new sealed for $30. I got two of them for ten bucks. I've had that for so long. I don't. I didn't even know it was. Yeah, it's a. It wasn't even listed. I had. <laughs> I relisted it because it was. I had sold one. I didn't have the quantity on. Yeah. I don't know why people buy these, but probably right. Probably for a burner phone. Yeah. When you're running the drug trade through California, you got to be ready. Yeah. Anywho, past life. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. No. This not is... me. Not me personally, Linda. Of course, but I'm a good. I do the right thing. I'm. You wouldn't even know what a drug was if you saw it. <laughs> I watch TV. I know what it is. <laughs> Next, we got um, Dr. Faust Busoni. Um, it might be Faust. Oh, it's opera. Okay. So it's um, two CDs and a book right there. That one sold for 16 ships. That was really good. But we have three of these. The other two sold for 30 and 40 bucks. Maybe 50 cents each, but that one's taking the longest. So. And Here's then, guys, the next piece whoops, for the Margaritaville. this is like the pitcher. It's also got the blade. You may be able to see it in there, the blade, and then the lid. Someone sold just this lid for 40 bucks. So if you ever find this, like, and this is broken, or you just find this 40 bucks in the lid, and I think someone got, like, 30 or something for the blade. I put it together, and we sold it for 88. 88 shipped. I also sent an offer out to Watchers today for 80. Two people declined it. Someone bought it full price. And I will say, if you find one of these Margaritaville things, there are not many parts listed. A lot of full units, but there wasn't a lot of competition. That's why mine sold so quickly. We also have a reservoir to sell, and there's a couple other pieces I'm gonna try to take off and make some money. But we've already we spent 15 bucks. Yeah. We're 120 bucks. You can sell a whole unit for like 150. So I'm gonna make probably maybe just as much, and I don't have to deal with shipping and cleaning that big old mess. And we've got Sled. some more sledge remover, Ooh. which is funny because this stuff was sitting, sitting, sitting. And Cameron to the point where he like moved it over to a different area and forgot where it was. And now we sold two in the last week. Sometimes you have to touch your inventory for yeah. it to move. So that's all for 15 shipped. Yeah, and that was uh, from in the state. So we got like five of them for five bucks. So that was a good deal. What do we got the next? Spoon thing. Uh, well, it's in here. It's just a little bullish whack. I don't want to pronounce it, but bullish. It, but bullish whack is the bullish Bol swike. Bullish I don't know. It's the pronunciation, but it's the Polish like pottery China stuff or whatever. This is like ladle. a little ladle, and it's sold for twenty bucks. Um, it's gonna go first class, super light. I'm gonna pick up one. And we got this pair. These are Vinci, Vinny, Vinci's, Vinci. Cute little. These are solid glass fish. I don't know if they're, they're hand. hand they're hand, hand fused. Blow? Hand fused by okay. Dynasty Gallery. There you go. So um, those are cute. These sold for sixty shipped. And I actually had another one, but I broke them. It was purple. I dropped them out of the car, and he broke his face. And it was very sad because I knew they were going to sell. I spent $10 on all three of them and I sold these two first. There were, it, and that one was probably one of the best looking ones. So shout out to my clumsiness. I opened the door and he was right there. I'm like, oh, great. And I moved something and he just slid down. Um, a TiVo bolt paid 20 bucks for this. It was 40, got it half off. It does work. I even hooked it up and everything's good. He's just, this is a 500 gig that I think there's bigger ones and they're just not that desirable. I think if you have the lifetime um, subscription, they are, but this one does not. This one sold for 65. That was an offer to watch. We went back and forth, and he offered 60, and sales were kind of slower, so I took it. Uh, we'll probably make 20 more bucks on it, but I'm happy to see it go. And then our last sale so far, we still got some time, guys. It might happen. Gorgo. It's Gorgo, and this one sold for 10 shipped. So VHS right there. All right, and. I've never seen this movie, so I can't tell you what it is. Yeah, but we'll take 10 bucks for an old VHS. Um, we're happy about that. So that's all we have. Not a lot of sales, but the dollar amount is good. Of course, you know, we'll be super thankful for what we can get. And hopefully a couple more things will come through. And do you have anything to say? No. It's hard to think when you have someone with a backwards hat on. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciated all the kind words of support in the comments. It has very uh, helped motivate us to keep doing it, obviously, and in your guys' views because um, it is a little bit of extra work, but we don't mind if people are watching and enjoying it. So we're going to go ahead and end this and get all this packed oh, up. Hi, Joel. Oh, yeah. Someone reached out and said hi to Linda. So the message was conveyed to her. one fan right there. <laughs> Probably right now. You have a few fans out there who I think are pro Linda. So they don't know you too well. They love me. They love you for who you are and <laughs> props to them for it's being so understanding. Ask, right? <laughs> hey man, I mean the people are very supportive of people like you with character issues. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. -bye.
Hey guys, here's the last sale for the weekend. Um, we have um, an Asus adapt AC adapter right there. All of that right there. And that one sold for 23 shipped. So that was our last sale. We'll get it packed up and drop everything off Monday for the post office.